Did you know one in eight couples in the world struggle with infertility? But what if there was a way to rewrite the script? Today, we're diving deep into the world of IVF. In vitro fertilization, the medical marvel that's helping millions achieve their dreams of parenthood. Buckle up, because this is one journey you won't want to miss. For Sarah and Michael, building a family felt like climbing a mountain, one they just couldn't seem to conquer. Months turned into years, filled with disappointment and unanswered questions. But then, they discovered a beacon of hope. IVF. This video is their story, and the story of countless others who dared to dream bigger. We'll explore the science behind IVF, the emotional roller coaster, and the incredible possibilities it offers. So, grab a tissue and get ready to be inspired. Have you ever wondered about the fascinating journey of in vitro fertilization? From its inception to the marvel it is today. Our tale begins in the 19th century, an era of scientific revolution and exploration. Scientists, enthralled by the mysteries of reproduction, initiated experiments with animals, marking the first steps towards understanding the complexities of conception outside the womb. These early endeavors, however, were met with a blend of intrigue and apprehension, as the concept of creating life in a laboratory was viewed as a disturbing intrusion into nature's domain. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, a period of renewed interest and groundbreaking advancements. Two pioneers, Patrick Steptoe, a gynaecologist, and Robert Edwards, a physiologist, embarked on a quest to conquer the uncharted territory of human in vitro fertilization. Their collaboration led to a series of innovative techniques and procedures that would forever change the landscape of reproductive medicine. Yet their work was not without controversy. The medical community, steeped in tradition and guided by ethical considerations, was initially skeptical. Critics questioned the morality and potential implications of meddling with the creation of human life in such a manner. The backlash was intense, but Steptoe and Edwards remained undeterred, fueled by a vision of providing a solution for couples struggling with infertility. The culmination of their relentless efforts was a moment that would redefine the boundaries of medical science. On the 25th of July, 1978, Louise Brown, the world's first test tube baby, was born. This historic event symbolized a triumph over nature's constraints and ignited a global conversation about the potential of in vitro fertilization. In the ensuing years, the skepticism gradually gave way to acceptance. The success stories multiplied and the once radical procedure became a mainstream fertility treatment. As the dawn of the 21st century approached, IVF was no longer a medical curiosity, but a beacon of hope for many. And so, the genesis of in vitro fertilization, a journey fraught with challenges, controversy, and scientific marvel, laid the foundation for a new era in reproductive medicine. From the early experiments with animals to the birth of Louise Brown, the story of IVF is a testament to the indomitable spirit of scientific exploration and innovation. So what exactly happens during in vitro fertilization? Let's delve into the biological intricacies that make this miracle possible. Our journey begins with the hormonal stimulation of the ovaries. Here, gonadotropin-releasing hormone analogues are administered to suppress the body's natural cycle. Simultaneously, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone are introduced to stimulate the growth of multiple follicles. Each of these follicles houses a potential star of our show, the oocyte or egg. Once matured, these oocytes are gently retrieved in a procedure known as transvaginal oocyte retrieval. The retrieved oocytes are then prepared for their rendezvous with the sperm cells. This union takes place in the controlled environment of a lab, far from the usual confines of the fallopian tubes. The oocytes and sperm cells are introduced and the dance of life begins. A single sperm cell penetrates the oocyte, resulting in the formation of a zygote. This zygote is a single cell that holds all the genetic material necessary to create a new individual. Over the next few days, this single cell undergoes multiple divisions, transforming into a multicellular structure known as a blastocyst. This blastocyst, a microscopic ball of cells, is the precursor to all the tissues and organs of the future individual. 
The final act of this biological ballet is the transfer of the blastocyst back into the womb. Here, it implants into the endometrium the lining of the uterus and begins its nine-month journey to become a fully formed human being. The entire process, though intricately complex, is a marvel of modern medicine, encapsulating our understanding of human reproduction and our ability to manipulate it. IVF is not just a triumph of technology, but also a testament to the human spirit. It reflects our innate determination to overcome barriers and bring forth life, even when nature itself places obstacles in our path. The fusion of science and biology, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. From its humble beginnings, IVF has evolved dramatically. Today, it's not just about fertilizing an egg in a petri dish. Over the years, we've witnessed significant scientific advancements that have revolutionized this field of reproductive medicine. Take, for instance, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, as it's more commonly known. This procedure allows for a single sperm to be injected directly into an egg, thereby bypassing the natural barrier of the egg's outer shell. This has been particularly beneficial in cases where the male partner has a low sperm count or poor sperm mobility. Then there's pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD. This remarkable technique allows us to screen embryos for genetic disorders before they are implanted. This not only increases the chance of a successful pregnancy, but also reduces the risk of passing on inherited diseases. And let's not forget the game-changing technology of egg freezing. This allows women to preserve their fertility, giving them the freedom to choose when they wish to start a family. It's a testament to the strides we've made in understanding the intricacies of human reproduction. These advancements have resulted in a significant increase in success rates, providing hope to millions of couples worldwide. They've offered solutions to complex fertility issues that once seemed insurmountable. Indeed, the field of IVF continues to evolve, pushing the boundaries of what we once thought was possible. The future of reproductive medicine is a thrilling frontier, and we can't wait to see what it holds. With great power comes great responsibility, and IVF is no exception. The procedure has raised numerous legal and ethical questions over the years. As we delve into the legal labyrinth surrounding IVF, we encounter the complex rights of the donors, surrogate mothers, and the unborn child. Donors, for instance, are often embroiled in the legal web of parental rights and obligations. The question of whether they have any legal claim or duty towards the offspring is one that has sparked much debate. Equally intriguing is the legal status of surrogate mothers. While they provide an invaluable service, the lack of clear universal guidelines often leads to contentious issues around maternal rights and responsibilities. And then there's the unborn child. The legal rights of these nascent lives, particularly in cases of embryo cryopreservation, remain a gray area with regulations varying dramatically across different jurisdictions. Turning to the ethical arena, the disposal of unused embryos is a hot-button issue. The question of when life begins fuels this debate, with some arguing that these embryos deserve the same respect and rights as a human being. Lastly, the use of IVF for gender selection or to create designer babies ignites a fiery ethical discourse. Are we overstepping the bounds of nature, or is this the next logical step in our evolutionary journey? As we continue to explore the frontiers of reproductive medicine, we must also engage in thoughtful ethical deliberation. Let's take a moment to look at AI or artificial insemination and compare it to IVF. Here's a breakdown of the key differences. With IVF, the fertilization of an egg by sperm happens outside the woman's body, in a laboratory dish. The resulting embryo is then implanted in the uterus. But with artificial insemination, the sperm is inserted into a woman's cervix or uterus using a catheter, with fertilization happening naturally inside the woman's body. IVF is a more complex medical procedure involving egg retrieval, sperm collection, laboratory fertilization, embryo selection and implantation. Whereas artificial insemination is a simpler and is less invasive a procedure compared to IVF. Applications-wise, IVF is used for a wider range of infertility issues like blocked fallopian tubes, male infertility or problems with ovulation. While AI is often the first-line treatment for mild infertility cases, single women or same-sex couples using a sperm donor. 
IVF generally has higher success rates compared to AI, but also a more expensive and demanding process. AI has lower success rates than IVF, but a quicker and more affordable option. While IVF and AI are valuable tools for many couples and individuals struggling with infertility, they both come with drawbacks to consider. Here's a breakdown of some key disadvantages. Cost. IVF is a complex medical procedure and the cost can be significant. It may not be covered by insurance and multiple cycles might be needed to achieve pregnancy. Physical and emotional strain. IVF involves multiple medications, procedures and monitoring. This can be physically demanding and emotionally stressful for the person undergoing treatment. Health risks. Medications used in IVF can have side effects and there's a slight risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, OHSS, where ovaries become enlarged and painful. No guarantee of success. Even with the best care, there's no guarantee that IVF will result in a successful pregnancy. The success rates vary depending on factors like age and underlying cause of infertility. Ethical considerations. There are ethical concerns surrounding the use of IVF, such as the creation of multiple embryos, surrogacy, and the potential for designer babies. It's important to weigh the potential disadvantages of both IVF and AI against their benefits when making decisions about fertility treatment. Consulting with a healthcare professional to discuss your individual situation and explore all available options is crucial. Here are a few exciting new advances in the field. Artificial eugenesis, egg production. Traditionally, IVF relies on a woman's own eggs. This new field of research is looking at ways to create eggs from stem cells. This could be a game changer for women who have low egg quality or quantity or who have gone through menopause but still wish to have children. While still in the early stages, success in creating healthy eggs with this method could significantly expand who can benefit from IVF. AI-powered embryo selection. Embryo selection is a crucial step in IVF, but it currently relies on visual assessment by embryologists. AI is being developed to analyze vast amounts of data on embryos, including time-lapse imaging and biochemical markers. This could lead to a more objective and accurate way to select the healthiest embryos with the best chance of implantation and pregnancy. Next up, in vitro maturation, IVM. This technique involves maturing eggs outside the body in a lab setting. This could be a less invasive alternative to traditional IVF for some women, avoiding the need for ovarian stimulation medications. IVM is still under development, but it has the potential to offer a more natural and patient-friendly option for some patients. As we stand on the cusp of a new era, one thing is certain. The journey of IVF is far from over. We've traversed its rich history, delved into its biological intricacies, traced its groundbreaking advancements, and grappled with its legal and ethical dilemmas. As we gaze into the future, the promise of artificial wombs and genetic modifications beckon. In the grand tapestry of human reproduction, in vitro fertilization is but a single yet significant thread. A thread that has, and will continue to, change countless lives. Thanks for joining us on this journey into IVF. Let us know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe for more Science Explained in Simple Sips. While this video has explored some of the amazing possibilities of IVF, it's important to remember that every journey is unique. If you're considering IVF, consult with a doctor you trust to create a personalized plan. CI Sips does not recommend or endorse specific medical professionals or treatment centers. The information presented in this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as medical advice. Please consult with a healthcare professional to discuss your specific fertility needs and treatment options. All right, Sci Sippers, before you go hurtling back into the real world after this epic scientific odyssey, I want to take a quick moment to chat. Building this channel, bringing you these videos and exploring the wonders of science with all of you is a blast. But to keep the scientific adventure going strong, your help is essential. Liking this video lets YouTube know you enjoyed it, which helps the algorithm share it with more curious minds like yours. Subscribing to the channel ensures you never miss a future science bonanza and lets you know when we upload new content. But the real magic happens in the comments. 
Leaving a comment, whether it's a question you have, a mind-blown reaction, or even a suggestion for a future topic, is like rocket fuel for the channel. It helps us understand what excites you and allows us to create even better videos that cater to your scientific interests. So, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and leave a comment below, letting us know what you thought of this wild ride through science. Thanks for joining the SciSips fam, and until next time, stay curious.